Hello, my name is Ori Schulteis, and I will be doing an art analysis over two paintings by Pablo Picasso. First, Bottle of Port and Glass. This was painted by Pablo Picasso in 1919 on oil on canvas. It is displayed at the Dallas Museum of Art. Um, and as you can see, there are lots of jagged edges, uh, which is characteristic of the cubis cubist style. Um, the jagged edges and the multiple views of glass and pipes on the on the painting signify um, and show the passage of time and the different angles, um, which is also characteristic of cubism. Um, color theory wise, there is a green hue uh, in the middle of the painting, and that is offsetted and balanced by the pasty off-white uh, off look of the canvas. Um, the jagged edges almost make the uh, margin of the canvas look crooked, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, the profile of the stemmed glass has a quality of a primitive drawing, um, and the pipe and pouch of of tobacco are highly simplified. The words and lettering near the center of the painting are characteristic and an essential element uh, to most cubist uh, paintings um, and is characteristic of cubism. And it's it's uh, there to probe reality and image making. Um, Pablo Picasso has um, has always been complex in the way he he paints and. Uh, you can see this complexity with the off-white frame and margin that I mentioned earlier. Secondly, uh, we have the guitarist. This was painted by Pablo Picasso in 1965, uh, about a decade before his death. And this was also painted on oil and canvas. One of the first things you see from looking at this painting is the, the big green mark down his face uh, to his chest. And it's very vivid. It's a very vivid green, but it's offsetted and balanced by the hues of red in his hands and in his face. Uh, it is. This is also displayed at the Dallas Museum of Art, and is uh, of the Cubist style. As you can see, there is disjointed. Uh, there's disjointed hands and limbs, uh, very characteristic of Cubism, and. It's interesting. One of the one of the more interesting parts of this painting is the the head at the bottom of this uh, the bottom left hand corner of the painting. Um, this is a life size musician. This is all. This painting is the life size um, portrait of of a musician. Um, so the head's pretty big. Uh, the disjointed head at the bottom left hand corner. Just to clarify. Um, at the Dallas Museum of Art, the inscription below describing a little bit about the painting, it says that uh, many people, many art critics, think that this uh, this head is a, a self-portrait of the artist and is a kind of visual signature of the aging Pablo Picasso himself because, as I said earlier, this was probably 10 years at, before his death. Um, so you can see his piercing eyes. Uh, both the disfigured head and the head of the guitarist, they kind of look uh, look at you with a intensity um, because they're not um, equal and balanced. Um, so as you can see, that this is definitely of the cubist style with its jointed uh, appendages and the legs and arms and hands. Um, also, the guitar is deformed, um, as you can as you would look at it from a whole bunch of different perspectives he put it in. Um, so thank you for listening and I hope you have a wonderful day.